Good morning, we're at Times Square, yay! Yay! I really wanted to show her this place. We just we just got swindled, by the way. Oh my god. I knew, I knew it was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I just thought it was like fun people doing random shit. The bunch of people in mascots, they just go like, Hey there! And then you're like, ah! It's because we look like tourists. Yeah, so look, this is exactly what's happening. See that? They got another victim. So anyway, uh, I just really wanted her to see this, so now we're going to look for breakfast. I just really, really wanted her to be here to see this, that's all. Hungry. Let's go. We're at Union Square on a Monday. Like, what is this? It's a, it's a market. A market, it's a market, yeah. yeah. What's, what's going on today? Like, it's all herbs and, and, and greens. Smell of fresh lavender and herbs. So, exactly at this, this structure, this is where I used to go basking. Wait, which one? Here. I used to I used to dance here. Right here. Do you need a permit to dance? No. It's just busking. They just have this huge speaker that they put right here. Like a really really big speaker. They put it here. And then everyone will be dancing around here. Like just busking. This is my my greatest memory of New York. This is my experience in New York, part of it. So welcome to New York. From from me at least. I haven't been here in seven years. And it looks exactly the same. Like, see those guys at the corner, they're chilling out, right? Yeah. The, the guys in the back? Yeah. Yeah, that's what they used to do also. But if we were here in the evening, we would see. So, shout outs to Floatmaster. I miss you. Uh, shout outs to Bam Bam, the liquid robot, Kid Dynamo. Shout outs to Tiny Love, the most energetic man ever. And everyone else who was always there hanging out. Shout outs to Firelock, Hurricane, and of course, Shockerlock. Let's go. We are looking for Forbidden Planet. One, because I want to visit it again. You guys saw the t-shirt that I had. It lasted me seven years and it's still relevant. So I want to get a nice, like something back. But also because she's never seen a real comic store before. So I said the best reference would be, think about Big Bang Theory and how they would go to the comic stores to geek out. So this is going to be like her first experience in a full out, full blown, legit, 1000% comic store. There, it's right there. It's right there, look. Forbidden Planet. Oh, you see, what I don't get, right, is that why do we cross when the lights are red? Like, why can't you just wait for the green man? It's hectic. Yeah, she's not used to the pace. I would stop at the red light if I'm in Asia. But if I'm not, I'll just follow what the locals do. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm not used to that. Forbidden planet, here we go. Here is forbidden planet, here we go. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna cut recording. I don't wanna be disrespectful. Bye. A few moments later. Now that we're done with Forbidden Planet, we are heading to what goes around comes okay. around. I keep forgetting the shop name. And we're walking through Washington Square Park now. I might be wrong, I think it's Washington Square Park. I was quite disappointed at Forbidden Planet. I mean, Forbidden Planet is an awesome place, but I was disappointed because I wasn't able to find any game-related t-shirts. Like, everything is the in thing now, like mostly Rick and Morty, The Avengers, Deadpool, Doctor Strange, Doctor Who. Couple of music bands, but no game ones, and I was like really sad because I was really looking forward to getting some game-related ones. Six and a half hours later. <sighs> so... Come full circle and I'm back here at JFK. Now I'm at Terminal 8, but that's because I gotta drop her off. Because she's going back to Melbourne and Qantas is now at Terminal 8. I will be going to Terminal 1 right after this. It's gonna be sad, sad. I don't really want to say goodbye. So what happened earlier was that we did not go into what goes around comes around because we didn't realize that it was going to be i guess you could say a more upscale vintage store like a more high-end vintage store we thought that vintage shopping was going to be cheap you know what i mean so the cheaper one would be like i think this place called sunnyside something like that like that would be in brooklyn and we didn't really have a chance to travel to brooklyn and back because of time constraints so we ended up just walking around and then she found a place called free people she really likes the brand Free People. I like a brand called Supply and Demand, but wasn't able to locate a store. And Free People was quite near to Supreme. I wanted to go visit Supreme just 
for the fun of it, but uh, I didn't because we really didn't have the time. So once we were done, we had to rush back to the hotel, pack up, then just grab an Uber and she met her friend Maggie and Maggie's boyfriend, Baus. We are about an hour late because we're not so sure about the traffic behavior, especially when, uh, you know, traveling from Manhattan down here to JFK. So we took an Uber, but I guess the faster way would have been to take the Metro. We thought it'd be more convenient to hop on an Uber, but I guess the Uber ride was about like an hour and 10 minutes, which is apparently kind of normal. So now we know, we know it better. So yeah, once I see her off, then I will head on over to my terminal. And then that will wrap up my trip here to the west side of the world, from Singapore to New York to Montreal back to New York and now it's gonna be a super 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 long boring flight back I will have to transit from here to Atlanta for 12 hours and then I will transit from there to Tokyo for a couple of hours before finally heading back home to Singapore I guess I will say this now thank you so much for joining in this slice of my life everyone I know there wasn't really like a huge highlight uh, but that was because I really wanted to spend more time with Emma to bond with her you know and to experience another country besides Singapore and besides me visiting her in Melbourne where she kind of technically lives right now but to experience another country together for the first time that was Montreal and for me to be able to show her my memory of New York I think that really meant a lot to me and so uh, this is just my experience that I'm documenting down and I hope that you guys enjoyed it because uh, personally I did so I'll catch y'all in the next slice of my life Gaga Boos and this is where they have to rush in. I just want to wave to her goodbye. You know, the usual thing that people do. Because I'm going to miss her. Yeah. So they've gone. They've gone. Also, this is random, but shout out to John Adrian. The Gaga Boost, man. Because right now, I am looking for Sour Patch Kids. Like, everywhere I go now, I'm looking for Sour Patch Kids. I got some. When I was here, I had a little bit. Emma was uh, complaining, telling me that it was too much sugar for me. Which is kind of true because, you know, I'm kind of fat. <laughs> yeah, too much sugar is no good. But I am looking to buy more Sour Patch Kids so that I could bring it back to Tetris and the rest because, you know, the last time I had Sour Patch Kids was when I had to eat just like half the pack and give the rest to Jong-un. Hopefully, I'll find some Sour Patch Kids.